Hello, in this video I'm going to show you Rhapsody Model Manager working with Rhapsody 831 and I'm going to show you how to configure it for pessimistic locking. I have here uh, a server running in a virtual machine and I'm able to launch Team Concert client to talk to a workspace and synchronize files from that server into my local area. So this is Rhapsody Model Manager which is essentially a version of RTC and I'm using the RTC Rich client. I'm logged in as Bob, so I'm going to open up that model as Bob and I'll start by showing you the optimistic strategy and then I'll, I'll change it to be essentially a pessimistic strategy. So here we have essentially a model. Uh, I can see it's synchronized with Team Concert because I have these icons and if I move essentially a symbol on the diagram. We can see essentially a change set is going to be created when I do the save. And that change set essentially becomes an outgoing change. So change sets are pretty good because what, what they do is keep multiple files that need to be propagated together. And they, they can also be associated with work items. So um, suppose that I put another use case on here, which is set the trap which the home owner does so I now, now I'm going to have multiple changes as I say if those changes will be propagated into this change set so I've got essentially changes to these units and I've now got an outgoing change set let me deliver that and I'll just show you show you what happens if there is a optimistic strategy ongoing so I'll deliver that change. You can see here the icons are now updated. I'll close this model and I'll now move to Deb's workspace. Let's have a look. And then when Team Concert opens, we'll imagine that we're now Deb and she'll see a, an incoming notification in her Team Concert client to say there's a change. So Team Concert's now open. That's the incoming change coming in and here we can see that change incoming. Now she's actually working in a, her own version of the Rapsi model on the file system so we'll open that and we can see the incoming change so we get a good notification uh, but she hasn't yet accepted that change. So in a optimistic strategy essentially if if Deb makes a change. And she saves that. And essentially two people have made a change to the same file. So that, that would generate the need for a merge. Now, I, I'm not going to go through the merge strategy here. Uh, what I'm going to do is, is what, I'll, what I'll do is revert that change. And we'll look at what pessimistic locking looks like instead. Discard that change set uh, and then I'll just accept the changes that were made by Bob so I'll refresh the model so I'll, I'll then open up here's, here's the model um, and I'm going to configure Team Concert now to be pessimistic so this is actually a, a configuration on the stream I first go to my RTC a client here. Uh, we can see that I have a workspace called Mousetrap. Uh, that has a stream called the Mousetrap development stream, and that has a number of components in it. So if I open up that stream, and this is the trick, I need to scroll down. What I can see is that the ability to auto lock dependent on particular file names and you can see the file name here actually just a hint uh, is actually a Rhapsody file name an RPY or SPS file uh, we're using 831 here so they're actually XML files um, so this is the same set of files that I want to configure for my diff merge so if I go to my sorry if I go to my Eclipse client and have a look at my workspace preferences I'll see that I've already got some um, configuration here so that if if it's any of these particular file types use a Rhapsody diff merge 
So what I'm going to say is if it's any of these particular file types, then auto lock. And I'll save that. So the stream is now configured to auto lock these file types. If I close the model and then I go here I am as Deb. Essentially I'm going to unload and then reload this component. So it's unloaded, reload the component. I need to make sure I make the right settings here. Load the selector folders but not create Eclipse project. Okay, so that's now loaded. So let's open this as Deb. So now you can see these files are read only. That means they've been essentially locked by Team Concept when that project was created. Um, I'm just going to do the same now for Bob. So I'll um, close the model and I'll switch to Bob. I'll wait for Bob's workspace to open. And I'll essentially reload this component. And make sure I tick the root here, not its children. Load selected folders, but do not create Eclipse projects. That's essentially taking the files out of the file system and putting them back. Uh, but this time it will have locked them. When that icon goes solid, I know the files are actually on the file system. And uh, if I look at my workspace here, Bob, uh, this is the model. So this is the model I want to open. I'll drag that into Rhapsody. And we can see again, this is read only. So now what happens is, in order to make a change to a diagram, if I open this, you see the, the toolbar is grayed out. In order to make the change to the diagram, I have to take the lock. So I do that from the unit dialog. And say I want to make it read write. I can now make an edit. And you can see when I make that edit, uh, a lock is taken on the file. I've got an outgoing change set, however that file is locked. So what that lock does is essentially stops anybody else from making a change. So if I switch back to Deb, again I'll essentially switch my workspace, I will close the model, wait for the workspace to reappear or Team Concept Client to relaunch. Okay, Team Concept Client's now relaunched. So I can now go back and look at Deb. And we see here, essentially, uh, she's seeing that this file is locked. And when she tries to make that change, again, it's not in the Team Concert menu, it's actually in the Unit menu. When she tries to take the read-write status here, uh, it's been locked by another user. If I want to see which user it is, I do go to the Team Concept client and I can have a look in the repository files. We can see here it's actually locked by Bob. So, so this is pessimistic. It's not possible to change the same unit in two different locations. If I switch back to being Bob, so I'll go back to my Team Concept client and I'll switch workspace back to Bob close this model, wait for the Team Concert client to relaunch. Again, obviously if I'm working on two different machines, I wouldn't need to do this. Both machines would have them running at the same time. Okay, Team Concert client's now launched, so I'll go back to being Bob. Let's just navigate, locate in browser. So we can see here he's got that lock, um, so he can make the change and then when that change is delivered so that outgoing change set here then he gets that choice to unlock so I'll go yes 
at which point the lock has been released. So if I switch back to being deb, she'll actually see the incoming change as well as a notification. Okay, there it is. So let's go back to deb. So now that icon has changed from being a lock to being an incoming change. I haven't got the change yet. So again, she can wait or she can accept the change. So if I'll propagate to the pending changes and I'll accept that change. So there you have it. You essentially with the rational model manager or the team concert integration, you can have either optimistic locking or pessimistic locking. The pessimistic locking is essentially driven from the read only status of the unit. So we configure at the stream level that we're going to lock. I go to my stream here. Have a look at my. Oh, sorry, that's my workspace. So this is the uh, this is the server side. So I configure at the stream level that I want to auto lock these files, and then. The rest kind of is automatically configured so that when I take read only status, a lock is taken. When I do a deliver, that lock is released. So I hope that helped. Obviously, um, it's quite a lot of detail to cover if you don't really understand the, the basics. But actually, you know, technically, it's not too difficult to set up. Thank you very much.